almost didn't wear this hat because it's like two different camo patterns and I was like, people are gonna have jokes, but you know what? I don't even care. Anyway, let's get on with the heat check. So obviously we should all take a break from the sneaker releases for Christmas, but December 27th, well, that's gonna be a different story. It's gonna be a very busy day for all of us. First up, we have the kids Nike Zoom Freak 5 Joker. This is gonna be on the 25th for 115. While not an official collaboration with DC Comics, fans will notice a few references to Batman's most feared villain. Sure, it could be a reference to Giannis Antetokounmpo's penchant for dad jokes, since the inside tongue features a classic joke that plays out on both sides of the shoe. But I don't know if the Greek freak has actually gone so far as leaving, say, a whoopee cushion on Chris Middleton's chair or freaked out Damian Lillard with a wind up laughing teeth toy. But you know who has? Joker. Of course, the teeth are followed up with poison gas and the whoopee cushion is actually a dirty bomb inside. So yeah, that might be more of a Joker homage than another one of Giannis's goofy jokes. We have the Clark's Kith Adidas Samba Kithmas on the 25th for $220. When people wonder how it is that the Adidas Samba won numerous Sneaker of the Year awards in 2023, they will see that the collaboration with Ronnie Flagg's Kith and Clark's was a main reason for that. The reimagining of the Samba with Clark's signature suede and crepe outsole opened up a lot of eyes and naturally the hype beast found their next trend to jump on. But take away the hype. It's still a very cool take on a classic that is peaking at the right time. We'll see if this second go round has the same magic, but what I like about it is that it's a sneaker that will fit in nicely with your ugly Christmas sweater with the red and green stripes, but the blue middle stripe makes it a pair that you can wear year round. And with the release date of Christmas day, that's a good thing unless you're the type that's going to wait until Christmas 2024 to undead stock these, to which I say, Respect. Uh, we also have the Puma MB01 low in the green gecko. This is a re-release on the 26 for 120. And then the pick of 2023, the Nike Gift of Mamba collection. This is on the 27th. Look, call me biased, but for me, this is the most exciting drop of 2023. Nike is ramping up the release of Kobe products, including apparel. The blackout version of the Kobe 4 Pro Tro is the highlight of the collection, but I think the two items that are going to be on every Kobe fan's radar are the reissue of the Black Mamba City Edition jersey featuring both the eight and the number 24. The jersey have been sold out for years to which people have had to resort to bootlegging of varying degrees of quality to represent Kobe. I don't know if Vanessa Bryant will be able to say that the production for these will be on the level of the reverse Grinches, but I imagine these will be on the level and these will sell out immediately. So yeah. We are nowhere near the level that we want this to be, i.e. I can just walk into a store and buy everything, but hopefully with each release, we get closer to that reality. I just hope I'm lucky enough to score any of these on the sneakers app on the 27th. Of course, now that I've said that, I, I'm probably gonna strike out on all of these. So that brings me to the collection. We have the Nike Zoom Kobe 4 Pro Tro. That's gonna be the Black Mamba version, and that's 190 bucks. The Nike Kobe Mamba Mentality T-shirt, that's 50 bucks. The Nike Kobe Mamba Mentality Destroyer Jacket, which is $824. Totally worth it, I don't care. And then we have the 17 time world champion Los Angeles Lakers Black Mamba City Edition jersey. That's $120 for adults and $90 for kids. I wonder if they're gonna include the NBA cup on there. But anyway, sorry, just ranting. We also have the New Balance 998 made in the USA. This is the Sepia Atlantic Blue. This is on the 28th for $210. And that's it so far. Don't be surprised if there's a shock drop over the next few days, although not necessarily from Nike. Now let's move forward a little bit and check out some sneakers that are still reportedly dropping in 2023, but they don't have a firm release date and sneakers that are scheduled to drop the first week of the new year since this is gonna be our last show of the year. We have the Nike Alpha Fly 3 Proto and this is gonna be for 280 bucks. So this is the latest and greatest from Nike and it's already a world record holder and it hasn't been released yet. That's because it was on the feet of Kenya's Kevin Kiptum when he broke the marathon world record in the Chicago Marathon earlier this year with a time of two hours and 30 five seconds. The Alpha Fly 3 will feature the all new Atomic Knit 3.0 upper that uses softer fly knit yarns and a redesigned lacing system. It has a high stack, high stack, high stack Zoom X midsole, a wider full length carbon fiber fly plate and dual zoom units in the forefoot and a new lightweight outsole. Yeah, back in my days as a marathon runner, I would be so down to rock these and kill it with a time of nowhere near two hours and 35 seconds. But hey, at least I'd look damn good doing it. All right, then we have the Market Reebok Classic Leather Pump. This is in the Classic Burgundy and Collegiate Gold. Those are gonna be 130 bucks. They also have a, a leather pump and that's gonna be in Army Green and Core Black. Same price, 130 bucks. We have the Adidas Superstar Better Scarlet. That's gonna be 100 bucks. I'm always a fan of superstars. I need more of those in my life. We also have the Women's Adidas Superstar Cloud White and Bright Red. Those are gonna be 100 bucks. Then we have the Puma Palermo Club Red. Those are gonna be 90 bucks. We have that in Pele Yellow. Uh, that's gonna be 
$90. We have the women's Puma 180 in corduroy. I'm sorry, the Puma 180 corduroy. That's the eucalyptus. That's 100 bucks. And we have the Puma Voyage Nitro 3. That's in Puma Black for 140 bucks. And then the women's Puma Voyage Nitro 3 in active red. Uh, a really cool sneaker coming out is the Bruce Lee Curry Flow 11 Wind. These are going to be $160. So the latest in the Curry brand's partnership with the Bruce Lee family companies is the Wind colorway of the Curry Flow 11. Not sure if it's a reference to a quote by the Hollywood and martial arts legend when he said, notice that the stiffest tree is most easily cracked while the bamboo or willow survives by bending with the wind. But it's probably a safe assumption. As for the sneaker itself, it features a primarily white upper with hits of black through out. The sneaker for added contrast is a colorful overlay on the lateral side, but I can't tell if it's static or iridescent from these photos. It's not like Seth Curry helped out in that department. Come on, man. Let one of the photographers get a profile shot of the shoes, bro. We have the Bruce Lee Curry Flow 11 Future Dragon. That's 160 bucks. If you're unfamiliar, 2024 is the year of the dragon. Both Seth Curry and the late Bruce Lee were born in the year of the dragon. And one of Lee's most iconic films was Enter the Dragon, which will be celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2024. The design of the future dragon is based on an iconic scene in the movie where Bruce Lee shatters glass to reveal his enemy. On the tongue is a lenticular tag that features both the Curry brand and the Bruce Lee logos. I'm sure we can come up with the metaphor that Steph broke the glass illusion that said he couldn't be an all-timer at his height and skill set, but we'll settle for the fact that Steph is the future dragon, and yeah, I just think that's a cool name. All right, um, is that, yeah, I think that's gonna do it here for the heat check until, uh, 2024. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Jock Slade. Hope you all have a safe and wonderful holiday. Take care, and I'll see you next year, which isn't that far away, but, you know, you get the idea. Be sure to check out our other videos here on the channel and, of course, our weekly show, Hard Pass, which has its own channel as well. All right. I'll see you guys in 2024. Yeah. Peace.